What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another 2023 Top, uh, Topps Cosmic Chrome Baseball Hobby. 12 box case break picking team number five. Remember, guys, all cards ship. And let's get this rolling. Hold on one second. Let me fix the focus. All right. And we got some help today. Michael will be able to help out a little bit. You see him right there. And then here's the list. Big Dog got basically the remaining nine teams. So, sold it all out. All right. And right here. All right, empty box, guys. I'll take a couple boxes. All right. That might go rip the rest. So again, got a little house, so that means we can do something else quicker now. If you guys want to run it back, we have one more case up there. I know people were talking pristine. So whatever you guys want to do. So what I really would want help in is if we saw that blaster. That blaster took like an hour and a half. The case yeah, the 40 blaster case. So it took a while. It's so fast. It's fast yeah, that's what I'm saying. It took me like an hour and a half to do it myself. Close? It's like down to nine. But yeah. But it's been up there for almost like four days now. So it's either going to sell it today or it's going to sell it tomorrow. There's no way. How much, I mean, it's like, what? 50 bucks. 50 Alright, so there's one box. So again, yeah, guys, if you guys are really just tuning in, the computer crashed, so I had to restart everything. I know, Eric, yeah. I'm sure for a lot of people, they were like, what the hell happened? Yeah, I came back into the studio and the computer was just super, super slow. And then all of a sudden, all the apps just, or all the windows just closed. So, I don't know, something happened, so I had to restart it. I deleted a bunch of videos too, so maybe, I don't know, memory. What's up, Logan? So, we're back now though. And hopefully it's okay for you guys. Your fan. fan for what, Logan? Your name's not Rex. Should we put your mirror back on? Yeah, I did. I got a few from, I went until I got home. Yeah. Uh, standing in the street with my flashlight, you gotta like slide some. Yeah, you gotta like slide it back into yeah. place. And I, I just couldn't get it, it took me like 10 minutes. 
And I don't know why, but I just had a feeling someone was gonna pull up and be like, yo, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, freaking police officer pulls up. It's like, everything all right over there? <laughs> I was thinking that you were gonna get pulled over for like, not having a mirror. <laughs> well, my mirror was on. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Face back was yeah. Like... yeah, you told him, nah, I'm not breaking in. I'm just trying to fix this. <laughs> I was like, here's my keys, like, my house, I'm parked right in front of my house. <laughs> That's funny. Because we had a, a thing where a guy in our neighborhood, where a guy was going through our neighborhood, stealing mirrors off cars. Yeah. Really? So he was thinking it was you? <laughs> well, was, I mean, it was a while ago. Oh, yeah. You know. That's funny. That's crazy, though. Why mirrors? I don't know. He had a pillowcase full of mirrors that they caught him at the liquor store. Yeah, he has a problem. <laughs> Yeah, we went to see the other day, right there, on the 182nd. Yeah. Bro, they remodeled the crap out of that shit. Well, yeah. not remodeled it, but they, the they got the inside everything. They got new cushions and the whole yeah. menu. They have, a, okay, they have an Instagram now. Yeah. I'm like, damn. I'm like, good for them. All right, so I got three boxes. The rest are right there with Michael, and once I'm done with these three, we'll transfer some over. There you go, guys. This is PYT5. Oh, I don't know. Right, this is a little too this is a little better. There we go. All right, we got Matt McLean. Launching the orbit, Shohei Otani. Look at that, Michael Harris. Gold for the Atlanta Braves going to Big Dog. 44 out of 50. That's right, dude. Making big moves. And look at that, Supernova, Aaron Judge. Yankees going to Matt Smith. Looks like it's just a base Supernova, but they are still one per case, I believe. All right, Casas, Corey Lee, there's Gunnar Henderson, and there's one of those triples, we'll randomize them between left, middle, right at the end. Wow, a second supernova in the same box, Francisco Lindor, both New York teams, this time's going to the Mets and David. So far, pretty solid box. And we get an auto in this. Carbon Carroll base. We got Will Myers for the Cincinnati Reds. That's number 299. We got Jordan Walker. And yep, we did get an auto. Nolan Jones. What a box. You see, Jed, I haven't told you that, uh, what's his name, our Mel Carey, what is it, Bob? Yeah. He bought a pack and he hit yeah, an auto. An auto yeah. I was like, what the hell, dude? I haven't told me this. All right, Colorado Rockies. Big dog. Nice box. Well, while I was doing the recap last night, you were closing up that studio and you put my keys out. Uh huh. Uh, there. I didn't realize you put that little cardboard that I saw. I know, I, I took out a couple of them too. I was like, I took some out of the trash. I'm like, all right, I can't take out anymore. I'm tired. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't even realize I saw them this morning. Oh, you didn't take them with you? No. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, he wanted these cardboards. So. <laughs> all right. Alec Manoa. Ooh, and the sun. It's one of my favorite ones. Acuna Jr. What a break for the Braves so far. Big dog. Very nice. Planetary Pursuit. Uh, 
Hunter Henderson insert. Austin Orbit, Austin Riley. And Aaron Nola, Yastrzemski. Another one of those there. Whoa. Austin Orbit, Tyler Freeman autograph for the Cleveland Guardians. Big dog as well. And then Jeremy Pena for the Houston Astros going to Joe. Corbin Carroll. Just one of those triples again. And an orange Josh Young. Man, so far these two boxes have just been loaded. Texas Rangers going to Joe. 10 out of 25. Yeah, super blue moon, but then it was like red, right? All right. Launching the orbit, Julio. And another orange, Nolan Jones. Um, Rocky's going to big dog, 25 out of 25. Got Cedric Mullins there. Brett Beatty. This is box three, Big Lou, yep. And Drew Waters. Is that right, Mike? So what colors, if you're really colorblind, like not, not everybody, it's not like, it doesn't always mean like you can't see every single color, right? It's just certain colors. <laughs> like I always think back to, <laughs> I always think back to like um, the hangover <laughs> with Mr. Chow in like number three, when he's telling him to rip the gray wire. He's like, what gray wire? He's like, this red and yellow. He's like, oh. He's like, oh, I'm colorblind. All right, six boxes now. Uno? Damn. All right, here we go. Rutschman. And George Springer. There you go, that's number to 75 autograph. One of my friends is coming away. I remember he was wearing like a maroon, like dark red hoodie. Uh-huh. And purple sweats. 
And he didn't know that, right? He was no, just... I'm like, bro, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say? He's like, he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you're wearing red, a red jacket and purple pants. <laughs> and he's like, bro, I thought I was wearing black. <laughs> That's crazy to think about, dude. Like, you don't even know. You just assume that it is, right? Because that's what it literally is. Like, that's actually pretty crazy if you think about it. You think you're wearing a certain color, but you're not. Yeah, blew it. <laughs> Having grapes, blue. All right, we got JD Martinez for the Dodgers. Number to 99. So you're saying that your dad was also, uh, your father was also like colorblind? Did it come like pass down? Giancarlo Stan. I don't want any nine. I mean, I guess it passed. It could pass down, right? Gunner. Gotcha. Interesting, yeah. No, my. For the most part, my dad had glasses later in his life. Ooh, nice Carmen Carroll gold. Jeff Walker with Diamondbacks. My mom, too. I, think, I feel like she kind of needed glasses, too, for the majority of her life, but she just never wanted them. But, yeah, I feel like for the most part. My parents only got them later in life, really, besides my mom, really. She just never wanted to wear them. But thankfully, my eyesight is okay. But I'm sure as I get older, it's I'll probably get worse and worse, right? I haven't heard of My wife's the one that really needs to wear glasses, like, every day, but she just chooses not to. She's She has, like, one bad eye, like, worse than the other. I think she has like a zero and like negative one when it comes to like the high numbers. I was saying back in the day, it was a school, I wore a bright purple shirt and bright red pants, and I couldn't see what they were because it was early in the morning. I just picked something. <laughs> Oh, so Logan's saying he's tried, he's worn those before. Yeah, it probably messes with your eyes, right? I mean, your eyes are just so used to being like colorblind, right? And then all of a sudden, like trying to correct them. And CJ Abrams. Well, there's no way to correct it, like, via surgery, right? Not, like, LASIK, like, eye surgery nowadays. I mean, eventually, I'd assume there would be a procedure like that. Probably, in the future. I mean, as... As, uh... Yeah. You know. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at the sign. Wow. He won the case? I assume so, or he wants something. Alright, continue on, guys. Michael Harris, thank you, sir. Riley Green. 
Alright, got another gold coming up. Come on, give me a gold auto. Gold auto. For the Cardinals, Libertor to 50. I don't know if this kind of help. But I'm doing this. That is true. It's like, just like I, I see how it is, and. I'm sorry. Like that just took 30 minutes on my shit. Unbelievable. I'll keep this in mind when. I'll keep this in mind when the uh, when the Christmas cookies is all around. All right, Bogarts, 2.99. All right, I'm just gonna bring the other three boxes to, to camera over here now. That way, these are the last six right here. So we're halfway through, guys. Halfway through this case so far. So far, some very, very nice cards. I mean, we had one box that had two supernovas and an autograph. Right, so we had one auto that Corbin Carroll Gold was massive, Nolan Jones Orange, Planetary Pursuit, Freeman Auto, Jung Orange, massive, right, Nolan Jones, Supernova, Michael Harris Gold, and another Supernova. So, so far, like I said, we are getting some pretty solid hits. Three autographs, though. So, let's keep it going, guys. All right, here we go. How about another orange Bryson Stott autograph for the Phillies? 13 out of 25. Rob. There you go. All right, Cunha. Eugenio Suarez. Out of 199. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, it's endless, dude. I mean, they, they can do whatever they want with football once they have the licensing with football, basketball. I mean, I'm just more excited to hopefully maybe get, like, you know, Definitive football and you know dynasty football and like dynasty basketball and you know kind of all of those ones right there really to be honest That's what I'm more kind of looking forward to You know I'm also excited for like Topps Chrome to be back right Topps Chrome football That was always a very popular one fan favorite say yeah I mean I love baseball too I mean I love all sports really but I, I grew up more loving football and hockey the most Dodgers you know Dodgers here in LA obviously you know baseball was always there but I, I, I yeah I'm more of a football hockey guy really Masataki Yoshida for the Red Sox going to Rob and Ryan Nelson for the Diamondbacks to 75 nice showtime Aaron Nola So 
Yoshida. And the Sun Juan Soto. Yeah, I mean, look, I grew up, like, playing all sports. I played football, basketball, baseball, you know. I mean, I played hockey, like, a couple years, like, like a recreational league, like roller hockey more, not not really, not really, like, on ice. But, yeah, I just, I just think football was always my favorite with hockey because growing up, my brother got me into hockey at a young age. I love basketball, too. Like I said, I love all the sports, but, I mean, if I had to choose, it's those two at the top and then, like, Basketball, then baseball, you know. I even love tennis. I mean, I'm really into right now the U.S. Open right now. You know, but yeah, I mean, there's just something about football that just like, I don't know, I just I just get this different feeling. I think the word, what more it is with football than it is with other sports is that football, basketball, baseball, I mean, I'm sorry, baseball, basketball, hockey, they can play daily or every other day. Where like football, I just think maybe because you have to wait one whole week for to see your favorite team play, I think that's why I feel like I feel like I get more excited for football because it's not like every day you get to see your favorite team play. You know, you got to wait one whole week. Sometimes you have a bye week. You have to wait two weeks. You know, so I, I think that's really what it is, honestly. Jose Abreu, out of 199. Oswaldo Peraza. Yeah, I when I was younger too. I mean, I loved WWE, WWF at the time. I went to a couple like Smackdowns and Raws and stuff like that. I just, I just definitely like started like playing more sports and wasn't really at home watching so much like TV at the time. So I think that's also the reason why I kind of like grew out of it in a sense. But I mean, I, I still enjoy it. I mean, my my godson obviously like loves WWE right now. He's like nine years old, eight years old. So I mean, I, I still don't mind watching it. I just I just don't follow it as often anymore. Julio, Jordan Walker, And yeah, Mike, I'm not sure. I don't I don't think so, man. I think hockey is still always gonna be an upper deck. Woo! Look at that! Extraterrestrial talent red for the Reds, Joey Votto, one out of five. I feel like unless upper deck vanishes from the face of the earth and loses hockey, hockey's always gonna be with upper deck. And add with the Reds. Wow, another supernova. This is our third supernova in this case. There's supposed to be one per case, and usually there is only one per case, but what a case. Acuna Jr. for the Braves. What a break for Rob. And how about this? Another extraterrestrial talent. This time it's Jordan Walker, number 99. I did hear of him. I don't think I've ever seen him wrestle so much, but yes, I did see the news when he passed away. That kind of sucked. I think Triple H like announced it on Twitter. Like I said, I don't I don't follow it as frequently, so there's a lot of new wrestlers out there that I have no idea who the hell they are. But breaking in this hobby, wrestling in the last couple of years, I've kind of like learned you know names, so it's kind of helped a little bit. Bryson Stott to 199. Tani, Langliers for the Athletics, Tatis, Morale, Bobby Wood Jr. Stellanova. 
Very nice for the Kansas City Royals. That's going to D.Y. Two more boxes left, guys. Woo! Altani Earth. And actually, you know what? I take it back. I feel like Earth is one of my favorite parallels. I know I love the sun, but Earth always looks great. Look at that. For the Angels, Big Dog Rob. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Although he's not from this Earth, right? Altani's definitely an alien. What a case. What a case. I picked out a great one. This one was looking funny too, guys. This, was, this wasn't this was stacked up like all the other ones. This one was to its side. That's what I look for. I always look for for those weird cases that are in the back if they're not stacked up and one of them's like backwards, one of them's to the side. You know, there's always a reason for that. I don't get me wrong, those cases always don't hit, but those are the ones I always go for, though. Salvador Perez. Dalton Varsha. I, Otani has it in the bag, Mike. If he gets injured last, even when, if, if he would have been out for the season, uh, two weeks ago or whatever when they announced that he had he tore his, his UCL he still would have won MVP no doubt there's no race in the AL for him alright last box guys wrong technically yes well the first time I think he didn't tear it but they advised him to have surgery so he did but this time I believe he did tear it so I don't know I mean I think at some point we, we can't expect Otani to be pitching and hitting as much as he does so at some point he's gonna have to give a pitching you know and again, he's still going to be worth half a billion dollars because even just hitting, he's worth that, you know? That's the one thing. I just feel like Otani for the last few years has been doing what he does consistently without being injured up until now, right? Pitching. That people are going to think that when he can't pitch anymore, that he's not going to be worth the money. But he's still like literally one of the best hitters out there. And if he was just a hitter, he would still probably be getting that contract. So it's like, if he can come back and still pitch maybe as a relief pitcher or something like that instead of being a full-time starter, then that's just extra. That's just extra on that contract that he gets, you know? It's like whoever signs him or if he stays with the Angels, it's like, all right, we're still going to get the best player in, the, in baseball, and we're still going to get some productive, potentially, uh, innings out of him. Extra treasure challenge. And when he isn't, he's still going to be our best player on the team. Jazz Chisholm. And that's gonna go to the Marlins. Big dog. Great break for you, man. And how about a Mercury to end it off? Francisco Alvarez. Mets, 
McDavid. Yeah, if he gets Tommy John, he should be ready for... Well, they're not going to make the playoffs, right? So that's a good thing. He, he should be ready for the opening season to hit. That's the good thing, right? And then, yeah, and then the year after that, he should be able to be back in pitching. But I have a feeling he's going to make a decision soon, too. If he, I, I have a feeling he'll still pitch, but I don't know if he'll be a full-time starter. Because imagine if it, he tears it again for a third time. I don't even know if that's, if that's ever really happened to most players, but... But yeah, I think I think he'll still be like a relief pitcher or something like that. All right, so we got Bryson Stott out of Orange, Libertor Gold, Nolan Jones Red Orange to twenty-five, uh, Planetary Pursuit Acuna, Nolan Jones autograph, Tyler Freeman auto, George Springer autograph, Supernova Judge, Michael Harris Gold, Lindor Supernova, Josh Young Orange to twenty-five, Corbin Carroll to fifty Gold, Mercury, Francisco Alvarez, Jazz Chisholm autograph, Earth. Shohei Otani, Bobby West, Stella Nova, Extraterrestrial Talent, Jordan Walker, Supernova Acuna, um, Extraterrestrial Talent, Red, Joey Votto, Juan Soto, The Sun, and Matsutaka Yoshida, color right there. This was a banging, yeah, this was a banging case, guys, like just massive. Autographs weren't like the super craziest, but still, we still got five. We got a lot of really nice inserts and a lot of nice color, guys. So appreciate it. Now I'm just going to quickly do this randomizer there for the clusters. Left, middle, right. Roll it. One, two, three, four times. One. Two, three, four. Four times, four times. Going to the left side. All right, so thank you guys so much. Another case is in the store if you guys want to run it back, jazbeescaserace.com.